Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Paul Keres and Leho Lorena. This very beautiful correspondence game was played in 1935. Paul Keres had white pieces and he started with e4. Leho Lorena played e6, d4, d5, French defense, advanced variation, c5 naturally. Knight to f3, queen to b6, pressure on the pawn on d4, and also on the one on b2. Bishop to d3, c takes on d4. How about c4? Is this good? c4 is not played by grandmasters. After bishop to e2, white is simply better. So we have c takes on d4, Keres castle kingside. Knight to c6, knight from b to d2, knight from g to e7, knight to b3, knight to g6. Can white win the pawn on d4 by playing bishop takes on g6, would you? Keres played queen to e2, defending the pawn on e5. If bishop takes on g6, then pawn takes bishop, after knight from f takes on d4, knight takes on e5. And if knight from b takes on d4, then knight takes on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop to e7, and black is okay. So we have a queen to e2, queen to c7. Knight from b takes on d4. Knight from g takes on e5. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Keres played the best move. Attacking the queen. Knight takes on f3 check. Queen takes knight. Queen to d7. Bishop to f4. Threatening knight to c7 check winning the rook. E5, rook to E1, pinning the pawn, defending the pawn on E5, rook from A to D1. 15 moves have been played for the sake of just one pawn. White has excellent activity of his pieces. Bishop to E7, black would love to castle a king's side. Bishop to C4, D4 white to move. This is the critical position of the game. Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Paul Keres played the best move. Attacking the queen. Queen to d8. If queen takes bishop, the knight to c7 check, family fork. Queen to d8. White to move. How would you continue to attack now? Hmm? I will show you one move that doesn't work. Bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, and black is okay. Keres played the strongest move. Bishop takes on e5. Bishop takes bishop on e6. This is the best move. If knight takes on e5, rook takes, black is advised not to capture on e5 because of checkmate. Also, after pawn takes, there is checkmate on f7. So we have a bishop takes on e6, knight to c7 check, king to f7, knight takes on e6. Black to move. Queen to a5 was played. If king takes on e6, one way to win is bishop takes on f6 check, and another one is bishop to c7. Discover check, winning the queen. So we have a queen to a5. Bishop takes on d4. Queen takes pawn on a2. White to move, 
what is the best move for white now? Did you find bishop takes on f6? Bishop takes bishop. If g takes on f6, how would you continue now? Then queen to h5 check, king to g8, queen to g4 check, king to f7 check, king to e8 and there is checkmate in one. Knight to c7 checkmate. So we have bishop takes on f6, rook to d7 check, knight to e7, white to move, how would you continue? Paul Keres sacrificed the exchange. This is a brutal attack by Keres, isn't it? King takes rook, queen takes on b7 check, king to d6, queen to c7 check, king to d5, and there is checkmate in one. Can you see checkmate in one? Queen to c5, checkmate. What a finish, what a king hunt. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.